Hi guys, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I wanted to talk today about mushrooms and how they can help treat uh, anxiety and depression. Um, this is not a, a topic that has been well covered uh, in the scientific literature and it's not really a topic that I found uh, being discussed uh, anecdotally either. Um, mushrooms have a number of health effects. Um, they, they're a very good source of nutrients um, and they, they, there's a lot of research on the, immu the immune enhancing effects of mushrooms uh, and there's quite a bit of uh, research on the vitamin D content of mushrooms but there's very little scientific research on the mood enhancing effects of mushrooms and if we look at Chinese traditional medicine if we look at traditional um, Japanese medicine what we find is that um, certain varieties of mushroom appear to have um, particular health effects uh, relating to improving the mood uh, and they may also have um, the ability to improve cognition as well. Now it's not entirely clear why mushrooms have this effect but it, it is known that mushrooms contain a group of chemicals called indolamines. Now Indolamines are um, a, a large group of chemicals that are all structurally similar to um, L-tryptophan. Uh, and if you have a look at some of my other videos where I've talked about L-tryptophan, um, you'll see that L-tryptophan is important uh, in human nutrition because it is the precursor to serotonin. Now serotonin is an important neurotransmitter in your brain and serotonin uh, in turn is able to get converted in the brain into melatonin which regulates the sleep-wake cycle. So these chemicals um, are actually um, related, they're the same chemicals that we have in our brain and they're present uh, in mushrooms. So what indolamines are present in mushrooms? Well serotonin is present in mushrooms, um, tryptophan is present in mushrooms, 5-hydroxytryptophan uh, uh, is present in mushrooms. Tryptamine, which is another neurotransmitter, is present in mushrooms and melatonin is present in mushrooms. So if you're eating mushrooms you're getting these indolamines which um, which uh, are effectively the same chemicals you have in your brain and these chemicals are interest because um, serotonin levels are um, linked to um, mood changes uh, and the serotonin theory of uh, depression anxiety suggests that in certain parts of the brain um, when the serotonin levels drop uh, this is when uh, anxiety and depression um, uh, can develop. Now it's not exactly clear whether the anxiety and the depression develop and the, seroto uh, and the serotonin levels drop as a result of that or whether the serotonin levels dropping are the cause of the anxiety or the depression. But there is this association. And what most pharmaceutical drugs uh, that are aimed at treating, um, uh, particularly depression and to a certain extent anxiety, um, what they try and do is they try and modulate serotonin levels. So what we have with mushrooms is um, a natural food that contains... Um, some of the compounds that might be of interest um, to those people who have um, you know, mild to moderate anxiety or uh, depression. And really what we're doing is we're supplying uh, the raw materials to the body to be able to uh, synthesize serotonin. Now serotonin is present uh, in mushrooms. Um, it's, it's you know, obviously the, the, the amount in different mushrooms varies. It depends on the growing conditions. It depends on the exposure, the environmental conditions that the mushroom was grown under and also the species of mushroom. Um, but serotonin is not absorbed uh, into, um, I into the brain. It can't cross the blood blood brain barrier. So the serotonin in mushrooms very likely would only have a local effect on your intestine. The intestine does have um, serotonin receptors and serotonin does affect the gut. So uh, it's possible that the serotonin could uh, actually um, have beneficial effects on the gut or it certainly could modulate um, the reaction of the gut to the food. So there may be an indirect effect there. Uh, the gut is very closely uh, related to the central nervous system. There are neuronal and hormonal uh, connections. Uh, uh, very, It's very um, closely regulated by the central nervous system um, uh, and there is a possibility that the serotonin in mushrooms could have an effect indirectly on the central nervous system. But what we're really talking about are the other indolamines that are in mushrooms. So we're talking about melatonin, which we know when it's absorbed in uh, eaten in foods it gets into the blood and it passes into the brain we know this from a lot of uh, studies that have been done on plants um, we know that 5-hydroxytryptophan um, uh, um, 
can um, get into uh, the brain because we can take it uh, as a supplement and we know that that increases serotonin levels and we know also uh, that tryptophan uh, is absorbed from food and that can also get into the brain and that has also been shown to increase levels of serotonin. So it's not exactly clear how these indolamines um, are able to work or if, it, if actually this is the effect um, the mood enhancing effects that mushrooms give but we know that these are uh, involved in uh, the, the alteration of mood and we know that mushrooms um, do seem to have this beneficial effect particularly anecdotally from these traditional medicines um, and of course mushrooms have other chemicals in them as well that would be useful um, for treating uh, depression um, there is vitamin D like I said before in mushrooms uh, and vitamin D uh, you know low levels of vitamin D are associated with mood changes detrimental mood changes there are also good levels of B vitamins in mushrooms and um, there are many studies that have been looked at individual B vitamins and how they can affect mood and certainly some of the B vitamins uh, are involved in the regulation of mood due to the uh, their, their, their effects on enzymes they act as cofactors in metabolic pathways some of those metabolic pathways are very important to the production of, 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 of substances that regulate mood so there is um, an association between the nutrients in mushrooms and uh, the regulation of mood now have the actual uh, experiments that have been done the studies that have been done in and reported in the scientific literature on mushrooms and mood are quite limited but there are some quite interesting studies and I will put um, a link to two of them in the comments box below this video and so you can look at them and see that there is you know reasonably good scientific evidence that they do actually uh, alleviate depressive symptoms uh, in one study um, menopausal uh, women were um, given a, a, a mushroom called um, lion's mane uh, which I think is also called hedgehog mushroom um, and this is one of the mushrooms that is used in traditional Chinese and traditional Japanese medicine uh, and it's used for its mo uh, mood enhancing effects its cognitive effects and also has a number of, of, of immune enhancing effects as well um, and these women were given uh, this mushroom for a number of weeks uh, and there was a significant decrease in the depressive symptoms um, that they experienced and the authors concluded from um, the study that um, this mushroom does appear to have um, a, an anxiolytic effect in other words it decreases anxiety and also an antidepressive effect so this supports the use of the mushroom uh, in the traditional Chinese and Japanese medicine uh, and it's good scientific evidence that there are mood enhancing effects from mushrooms now obviously from that study you couldn't say that it was the indolamines that caused that effect it could be the vitamin D it could be the B vitamins it could be some other factor there are many polysaccharides in in mushrooms but it's interesting nonetheless uh, there was another study that looked at elderly um, Japanese um, uh, subjects and um, they were given uh, mush again they were given the same lion's mane mushroom for a number of weeks um, and it was found that they had improving uh, improvements in cognition so they you know they, they were they were obviously experiencing as they were aging a decrease in cognition and this mushroom extract was able to um, reverse that to some extent so from those two studies um, there is evidence to support the anecdotal evidence from um, you know their use in traditional medicine that mushrooms do have this um, mood enhancing and cognitive uh, enhancing effect um, so why would I recommend mushrooms um, you know there are other uh, you know there are other substances you can take that have much more science behind them uh, have been much more um, thoroughly um, studied uh, and, and and therefore why would I recommend mushrooms um, <clears throat> well firstly there are food um, mushrooms should you know really be considered a food um, and like I say the, the levels of these chemicals in the mushrooms varies um, so you don't really know how much uh, of these substances you're getting but if you incorporate mushrooms into your diet they're a very high quality food they have lots of nutrients in them um, and incorporating them into your diet uh, is a very safe way of providing yourself with um, a, a possibility of improving your mood um, it's a very low risk strategy you can pursue other strategies as well uh, this is just a, another really another string to your bow it's something that you can put into your diet that has um, both very good anecdotal evidence you know from traditional medicine as well as scientific evidence to support it 
Uh, and there's no real downside. Um, you know, you, as long as you're eating edible mushrooms and you're, you're buying them from a reputable source, um, uh, you, you know, you're not risking poisoning yourself by eating anything that has, uh, you know, toxins in them. Uh, there's really no downside to eating mushrooms um, in, in, in putting them in your diet. You're only going to benefit from the nutrients uh, that are in them. Um, you know, they, like I say, they're, they're in, the chemicals that are, that are causing this effect are not known, but there are many different chemicals, um, phytochemicals, uh, they're not phytochemicals because they're they're fungi, but there are many different chemicals in mushrooms that could have a beneficial effect. Um, so there's really no downside. Um, what sort of person would want to uh, you know to maybe pursue this 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 tactic? Um, it, obviously, if you have very severe depression uh, and if you have very severe anxiety, um, I don't think any nutritional strategy is going to be a, a magic bullet. Um, but the same can be said for pharmaceuticals. Um, the the success rate of treating severe depression and severe anxiety with pharmaceuticals is also very limited. Um, and really, if you have severe depression and severe anxiety, uh, anyone that's experienced that will know it's a very long road for, um, to recovery. Uh, and you have to use multiple um, different tactics in order to be able to to try and uh, you know treat yourself. Uh, and this can take many years. It can it can include pharmaceutical drugs. It can conclude uh, it include um, you know therapy, uh, hypnosis, uh, you know nut uh, nutrition, exercise. Um, so if you've got very severe depression, very se severe anxiety, uh, you know this is something you could try, but it's going to be um, you know it's only going to have an effect uh, with all the other things together. Really, what this is uh, useful for is those people that self self medicate that have um, quite quite you know uh, uh, low levels of anxiety what's called the generalized anxiety disorder um, low levels of anxiety that seem to have no uh, apparent cause uh, most people do get these uh, periods of anxiety for various reasons and the same can be said for depression um, there's a lot of stress in life uh, and most people um, feel depressed they feel anxious um, and many people self-medicate and they, they self-medicate with various different types of remedies um, you know even things like aromatherapy um, some people turn to herbs, some people use exercise. It's one of those things that you can add um, to those other uh, therapies in order to be able to help uh, get over the anxiety and the depression. And, and generally herbs in that particular area, uh, herbs and, um, uh, you know, natural um, natural uh, products uh, actually um, perform as well as pharmaceutical drugs at that kind of mild to moderate anxiety and depression. St. John's Wort, for example, um, for mild to moderate uh, depression uh, it's really as effective as anything that you could go to your doctor um, and, and, and be given uh, and you know for, for anxiety uh, chamomile um, and uh, passion flower have been compared to um, anxiolytic drugs uh, and they fare just as well so for those people with mild to moderate depression mild to moderate anxiety this is something else that you could look at um, it's very difficult obviously to know what you're getting in a mushroom because it will depend like I say on the on the growing conditions um, but it's not going to do any harm so it's, it's a good good addition to your diet um, generally if you add mushrooms if you've got a poor diet and you add mushrooms to your diet you'll probably take something out that's not so, uh, you know that's not so healthy so it's going to improve the quality of your diet which is going to improve the quality of your health um, uh, you know as, as a whole um, and you know the, stu the studies that have been done they're very limited um, but they do seem to support the traditional um, Chinese and Japanese uh, uh, medical records uh, in their traditional medicine, which shows that they do these, the, you know, the, the addition of mushrooms, particularly certain types. This, like I say, the mushroom that was used in these studies was called lion's mane, um, and um, it does seem to support that anecdotal evidence. So really, it's not going to do you any harm. So, um, you know, what's the take home message from this? Um, you know, mushrooms is one of the foods you should really be consuming regularly in your diet, not just for, you know, the mood enhancing uh, properties they have, but also the immune enhancing uh, properties they have. Certain polysaccharides in mushrooms, very good for enhancing the immune system. Uh, and they really should be considered um, a very high quality food. Um, so I hope you found that interesting. Um, you can go now and do some research and have a look at which types of mushrooms um, uh, have the most um, uh, you know of, of these indolamines in and what type of chemicals there are in mushrooms it's really 
too difficult to summarize in a video like this because there there have been lots of studies that have looked at um, you know the different chemicals in mushrooms but certainly uh, there is information out there I had a quick uh, look on um, you know through through the internet and there is quite a lot of information so hopefully this will get you interested in this topic and you can go and do some further research um, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, and if you haven't done so already I invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you can look at some of my other videos um, there are lots of videos on anxiety and depression um, and uh, some of those videos may be useful for those people uh, that, are, that have been brought to this video for that reason. Um, as always, eat well, stay healthy and protect yourself. And I will see you soon for another video. Take care.